Whoever invented the missile 90 years ago was a genius, and bombed Britain to death. It looks similar to an airplane, but there is no pilot inside, so how does it ensure that it can shoot accurately at Britain and not elsewhere? The principle is actually quite simple. The distance of flight can be calculated by the number of revolutions of the propeller in front of it. Behind the propeller is the gyroscope used to maintain the missile's flight attitude. The gyroscope will definitely fall down when it is not rotating, but not when it is rotating at high speed. Not only that, but even if we tilt the floor over, the gyro will still keep its axis of rotation vertical. Based on this inertia the angle and angular velocity can be measured, which is the legendary gyroscope effect. Behind the gyroscope are the TNT and liquid fuel tanks, followed by the compressed air cylinder, controller and autopilot, and finally the engine, rudder and elevator. The missile can be launched using only a catapult, with a strong thrust forcing the missile to take off at 320 km per hour, followed by an impulse engine in the tail of the missile to power it to a maximum flight speed of 550 to 640 km per hour. When the missile comes over the target, it adjusts and locks onto the rudder on the missile's horizontal tail, and the missile then falls, with the end result being either death or injury to anyone within killing range.